What exactly is gigantism? Gigantism is a rare condition caused by the overproduction of growth hormone in childhood, leading to abnormal growth of bones and tissues. It typically results from a benign tumor in the pituitary gland, which controls hormone release. The overproduction of growth hormone stimulates excessive growth, causing individuals to grow much taller than average and have enlarged hands, feet and facial features. If untreated, gigantism can lead to joint pain, cardiovascular problems and other complications. Why do our eyes blink? On average, we blink about 15 to 20 times per minute. Firstly, blinking protects our eyes from irritants like dust, dirt and smoke. Secondly, blinking also protects our eyes from bright lights. Thirdly, blinking spreads a layer of tear film over our eyes, which contains nutrients and antibodies that keep our eyes healthy and moist. Lastly, especially during screen time, blinking also gives us brief mental breaks, helping with our focus and reducing eye strain. Mm. Why does our eye twitch? Firstly, stress and anxiety can cause eye twitching. Huh? Hmm. Secondly, not getting enough sleep can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. Thirdly, staring at a screen for long periods can also cause eye strain and twitching. Hmm. Fourthly, consuming too much caffeine can cause eye twitching. Huh? Hmm. Lastly, some medications can also cause eye twitching. Hmm. Why do we get hiccups? Hiccups happen when the diaphragm the muscle helping us breathe suddenly contracts. This makes the vocal cords huh? close quickly, causing oh. the hic sound. Common triggers include eating too fast, oh. drinking carbonated drinks, oh. swallowing air, oh. stress, or sudden temperature changes. Oh. Hiccups usually go away on their own oh. after a few minutes, but holding your breath, drinking water, or swallowing sugar can help stop them. Hmm. In rare cases, persistent Ooh. hiccups may be a sign Ooh. of a medical issue. Hmm. How exactly do earthworms move? An earthworm moves using circular and longitudinal muscles, as well as bristles called seti. The earthworm can push the setae out of its body to grab the soil around it. To move forward, the worm uses its seti to anchor the front of its body and contracts the longitudinal muscles to shorten its body. Then the worm anchors the back of its body with seti and contracts the circular muscles to lengthen its body. The result is that the worm inches forward. Hmm. Why did giraffes evolve to have long necks? Giraffes have long necks primarily to access food in tall trees like acacia that other herbivores can't reach. This evolutionary adaptation helps them thrive in habitats where competition for ground-level foliage is fierce. Hmm. Additionally, their necks are used for necking, a form of combat where males swing their necks to establish dominance and win mates. The longer and stronger the neck, the better the chance of success. Hmm. Why do flowers smell so very nice? Flowers smell good to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies and birds, which help them reproduce by spreading pollen. Pleasant scents come from natural chemicals called volatile organic compounds produced by the flowers. Each flower species has a unique combination of volatile organic compounds, creating distinctive fragrances that appeal to specific pollinators. Some flowers also use their scent to deter pests or even to compete with nearby plants. Uh. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, 
bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Thirdly, bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat.